Well, shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express up here in Seattle area of Washington State. And what I've got here is a bunch more of these Lee micrometer bullet seating stems. Bought more of these and the reason why is because not only do they do a great job seeding bullets so that you can get the micrometer reading and reproduce the exact seeding depth especially if you use these locking breech lock that Lee, Lee uh, has you can lock it and then record the setting on the micrometer and you can reproduce your bullet seeding exactly for that press and that shell holder. But the reason why I got more of these, a lot more of them, is because we can also use the bullet seating stem in the factory crimp die to make it a micrometer crimping so that again with the locking breech lock you can set your crimp record the setting and have exact reproduction of the crimp. This happens to be a 9mm die set. And you know with 9mm or 45 ACP or 38 Super, you have to go ahead and do a taper crimp. Well, with a dummy cartridge, you can try and get the taper crimp exactly the same again using your dummy, but it's hard because the taper crimp's not an exact position. With a micrometer, you can record that setting and get an exact taper crimp reproduction. And how important is that if you got a load that really has low standard deviation and you want to reproduce those lows exactly? This will get you the crimp, which is very important to get that low standard deviation reproduction. So let me show you how this works. So you see with the bullet seeder, there's no need to discuss that because it works as advertised. In fact, the micrometer was designed to work seeding bullets. So we don't need to discuss that. But the micrometer crimping is actually a hack. So let me show you how this works out. And it actually works out real well for the nine millimeter. You don't need to do any gyrations. So key is that the bullet goes in for taper crimping and the bullet doesn't stick out the top. Because if it sticks out the top, then the micrometer bullet seating stem will hit the bullet and that'll mess up any kind of crimping that you want to do because the crimping is done with the sleeve. You've got to get connection of the crimping stem. Well, this is a micrometer bullet seating stem, but if it's going to be a micrometer crimping stem, then this sleeve that comes out according to the micrometer needs to be able to engage that sleeve. And with the 9mm, it does. So it's a straight up hack. It's a straight up use. So you put the sleeve back in, and then you go ahead and put the micrometer bullet seating stem in the factory crimp die, like you see, and then go ahead and set it for zero. Like that. Now let's go to the reloading press. Okay, we're talking about using the micrometer bullet seating stem as a micrometer crimping stem. So here's the factory crimp die. We'll go ahead and put this in. Now we set the breech lock so that the vernier scale is facing outward. 
This happens to be the Lead Challenger 3 press that is now currently available. If you buy this at Midway USA for $93, you get a set of carbide three die in your favorite calibers of a three die set that's carbide with the breech locks. The die set is thrown in free. Let's go over how you set this die up. You, you put it in with the breech lock and then screw the die down until it touches the shell holder. And then with the setting of micrometer at zero, you put a case in that has been bullet seated and you're ready to crimp. You run that into the die and nothing's happening, which is good. Now, what you do is you crank the micrometer down until you feel the crimp sleeve engage the case mouth. There. It's the same thing you would do if you were using the regular plug that comes with the factory crimp die. So then you lower your ram and then you give the micrometer adjustment half a turn and see how much crimp you're getting. That hardly got any. So let's give it another quarter. A little bit more. See another quarter. We're just gonna eyeball it. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more, say another three thousandths with the micrometer. And that's good. Then we take the next one, which isn't crimped. There's the crimp. That's what we want. Well, I don't know if you can see those crimps or not, but that's the, what we want. And the reading is 0.329 on the micrometer. So we can reproduce that crimp if we have a nice load that's nice low standard deviation and we can reproduce this crimp at any time, especially with a locking breech lock ring and the same shell holder, the same press, we're in business. And because we're using this hack with the nine millimeter and it's straight up, it works straight up, no change needed. Micrometer bullet seating stem turns your factory crimp dies into a micrometer crimping die. How's that for a hack? And you saw it here first. Bye for now.